begin with another Ferris High School coach in trouble. This time it's the head wrestling coach. Today the district confirmed he has resigned. Krem 2's Casey Decker has the details tonight. Tonight, Spokane Public Schools confirming Nate DeSantiago, the head wrestling coach at Ferris High School, resigned earlier this month. On May 2nd, District HR got a report citing, quote, boundary concerns between the 28-year-old DeSantiago and a student. We're told those concerns do not involve any physical contact. After getting the report, an investigation was launched and DeSantiago placed on administrative leave. Then, on May 6th, DeSantiago resigned, according to a district spokesman. District resource officers looked into the report and determined it did not rise to the level of criminal activity. DeSantiago is the third Ferris coach in only four years to run into trouble for conduct with minors. In 2017, the school's head football coach, James Sharkey, was investigated. Claims had been made that he exposed himself to players at a summer leadership camp and that he had allowed hazing within the team. Sharkey always vigorously denied the exposure allegation, but documents showed he admitted to making inappropriate comments towards students. He later signed a discipline agreement that included a suspension without pay. After that suspension, he returned to a different job at the district. Far more severe than either of those cases, the 2018 case of Ferris's freshman football coach, Charles Eglett. He's accused of communicating with a 15-year-old girl over Snapchat and then raping her at Northern Quest Casino. His most recent hearing was in April. Attorneys said that they expect a federal indictment by the end of this month. So again, we don't know exactly what DeSantiago did to get investigated, but we have been told the conduct was not physical or criminal. Nonetheless, a very disturbing development here for Ferris High School to see yet another coach accused of misconduct with minors. Mark.